Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are starting up the Pirates franchise today, so let's hop on into this. Uh, in this episode, we're just going to be getting some trades done. We're going to be going over an overview of the team, and then we'll be going from there. Uh, we're going to use the current rosters. I have the Operation Sports rosters right now, so they're a little bit different. I have gone ahead and um, made some trades already uh, in other game uh, or in other files just to make sure that these trades are kind of possible to get done. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to leave GM contracts on. I think that's the only thing CPU trading on. Yeah, everything looks good there. So let's go ahead and advance. Turn all of this on to manual. And let's start in spring training. So we are going to take a look at the team real quick. And then we'll go ahead and make some trades. So the Operation Sports updated rosters. Um, they have kind of a different overall. Because Starling Marte is a 90 overall in this. Uh, he's an 87 in the base rosters. Uh, I believe Garrett Cole is down 3 overall from the base rosters. Tony Watson, I believe, is up a little bit from the base. 2 overall for the base roster, I think. Uh, Ivan Nova is like five down from the from the regular rosters. Uh, Jung Ho Kong is down six from the regular rosters and is in single A since he's not playing right now. I'll probably use him to trade just just because. But he's him and Starling Marte. I'm gonna play Starling Marte. Um, I'm not gonna suspend him for half the year like in real life. But um, looks like Phil Goslin and John Jaso went way down. I believe Alan Hansen went down as well. Austin Meadows got added in this. He wasn't in the regular one. Um, I think we have one. Do I have one more top prospect? I thought I had one more top prospect. I guess I don't. I guess it's just Austin Meadows and Alan Hansen. Okay, I thought there was a third one, but that's all right. All right, so now let's go ahead and hop into the trading. Uh, let's see, go over to trades. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to see Garrett Cole. I was able to do this in my other one. It was Garrett Cole for Marcus Stroman and Roberto Azuna. And yeah, I, I could still make this trade. Um, they don't have a closer now. But I think I can actually, yeah, I can add Gorilli to this as well. So I can use... So I could trade Strowman, Roberto Azuna, and Jason Grilly for G for Garrett Cole, which I'm definitely going to do. Um, Garrett Cole, I don't know how he keeps getting these high overalls. He's like he's like the most frustrating pitcher to have on your team because in real life he's like he's like super cocky, but he gets like super um, tilted really fast in games. Like um, if something just doesn't go his way or one call doesn't go his way, you can literally see the effect that it has on him like mentally he gets super pissed and so we're definitely moving him we're gonna move him for Strowman, Ozuna, and Grilly uh, move on from Watson to Ozuna uh, Ozuna one overall better but I like Ozuna he's younger uh, definitely a better option uh, over Tony Watson so we'll move Tony Watson now uh, to another team that maybe needs a closer the Blue Jays need a closer but there's not really anybody left on this team that I really want uh Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is probably the only player on the team that I would want, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Or no one really on the Blue Jays. So I'll see what they want for it. If they'll take Tony Watson, then I'll do it. But let's go ahead and make this trade. Stroman, Ozuna, and Grilly for Cole. So the first trade goes that way. I knew that would work, so I hope it's not. Where did Tony Watson go? There he is. Okay, we can almost make this happen. Uh, Watson for Vladimir Guerrero. I'm surprised Vladimir Guerrero isn't like a top prospect. He had where are his this player has no quirks. Why doesn't that player have any morale? So Tony Watson isn't gonna be our closer, so he's just gonna be pissed. And he'll be happy because I'll put him as closer. Okay. We'll move Tony Watson. I don't know if we're going to do it for Vladimir Guerrero. Uh, so the next trade I wanted to do is with the Red Sox. I want to bring in Mookie Betts and possibly Xander Bogarts. Like I said, we're mortgage we're going to mortgage the future probably of the Pirates in order to try to get a, a ring now. That's the whole goal of this series is to get a ring. Where the heck are the Red Sox? I went the wrong way. There, there, there we go. Okay, so... 
Let's go ahead and find Mookie Betts. So Mookie Betts will be playing third, or second base for us. We'll move uh, Josh Harrison to third base, and we'll put Mookie Betts at second base. Um, they don't need a closer. They got Kimbrel. Um, okay, that's a decent value for Tyon. Cool gets, like, no value with them. Shugle, Shugle actually gets more value than I thought. Glass now gets a really good value. Mitch Keller. Okay. The, the one player that I want to hold on out of my top prospect, the two top prospects, is Austin Meadows. Um, but what kind of value does Austin Meadows get? That's pretty good. How about Hanson? That's pretty good value, too. They're all giving me pretty good value. Let's see here. Let's offer them Jung Ho Kong. Actually, I want to offer I'll offer him for Bogarts because it's a shortstop for shortstop swap. Josh Bell actually worth a decent amount. All right, let's go ahead and offer Glass now. Okay, Glass now. I think Glass now is our best bet to get there. Um, I actually didn't look too in depth. Yeah, there's a couple of guys that were on the team. Um, in the regular rosters that aren't here now, there's a there was a Tyler Guzman I think is like I don't think he's not a real player but um, I thought maybe there'd be a player comparable to him it, but I guess Mitch Keller is kind of but Guzman was like ten overall better so that kind of puts a little bit of a hindrance into my trades here but we'll go ahead and offer Grilly and now we got to put together. Hmm. Also lost, there was a top prospect at catcher that the Pirates had on their base rosters. Hey, Josh Bell's not going to get there. Hanson almost gets it there. This is the worst trying to trade for Mookie Betts. Because it's so ridiculously expensive. Austin Meadows almost gets it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to trade Hanson. I have to trade Hanson and take Grilly out. And I don't think I have any good relievers. Yeah, the Pirates don't have like any good relievers. Okay, I could trade Cervelli. I don't really want to do that. Okay, so I could trade Max Maroff, who's a B potential, 23 years old. Uh, I would have Mookie Betts, who's 24, with an A. So I think I think that's worth it. Trading my two top prospects at second base for Mookie Betts. Um, let's see, can I get, like, a, I want Rowenis, Eli I can't trade for Rowenis Elias, I like Rowenis Elias as a pitcher, like, I, I, I don't know, I turned to, I got to liking him from playing RBI Baseball, that crappy game on the Xbox, uh, but man, he's more expensive in the operation sports, like, I think regularly I could have just added him, but I can't do that now, um, there I go, okay, guys are actually worth more than I thought. Alright, let's just take this deal. Craig Kimbrell's only an 84 in this. Um, let's just go ahead and take this deal. Tyler Glass now, Alex Hansen, and Max Maroff for Mookie Betts. Let's make that trade happen. And let's go ahead and see what they want for Xander Bogarts. So, I'm gonna, act, I'm gonna offer Jung. Um, I wanna move Freeze. I gotta move Freeze and Jaso. Yeah, I gotta move Jaso. I definitely, I gotta definitely gotta move Jaso, and definitely gotta move Mercer because they're like stupidly high priced. And I will call up Gift because uh, he's up in the majors right now. I don't want to trade Austin Meadows for Bogarts. Um, a lot of this is gonna be moving these pitching prospects, but I do want to trade for like is Stephen Brault. Not here now. They got rid of Stephen Brault. Oh no, there he is. He's 59 overall. Uh, Trevor Williams, who's actually making the start for the Pirates today. Should be interesting to see how he does. Actually thinking about pitching him in DFS. Might not have anything to get Bogarts unless I want to trade one of those top prospects. Where is Adam Frazier? Um, oh, he's at right... Oh, he's out in right field. Okay, we might have to, I'm either going to have to trade, I could trade Tyon. Tyon's about the only thing that's going to get this done. Max Keller gets us close. Why is Tyler Hearn added? Or Taylor Hearn, there we go. Okay, so we got to trade Mitch Keller. Okay, um, 
Really, he's not going to get us there. I don't have any relief pitchers. Tony Watson's not going to get me there. Cervelli's not going to get me there. Josh Bell gets me there. 69A potential. I don't have a first baseman. I want to trade for Thames at first base. But I might might be running out of players. Because I don't want to trade. I wanted to hold on to Austin Meadows. Probably should have traded Austin Meadows for Moogie Betts. That probably would have made the most sense. But I guess I'll trade Austin Meadows for Xander Bogarts. I think that's what's going to have to get done. If I want Bogarts, that's what's going to have to happen. Um, let me see if I can add Rowanis Elias now. I can. Okay, I can get Elias and Bogarts from Meadows, Keller, and Kong. Oh, I think that's going to have to do it. I'm gonna make the Red Sox ridiculous good and ridiculously good in the coming years because they got these guys, and then once Stephen Wright and David Price are kind of done, they can bring in Glass now and Keller. They have any other top? Yeah, they got Broom as a top pitching prospect at 18. They got Rodez, 19B. They're gonna be stacked at pitching forever, and they'll have Meadows in the outfield. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do. It. How old is Bogarts? How old is Bogarts? He's only 24. All right, let's do this. Let's make this trade. Wait, what? But it's not what we're looking. We're definitely interested in making this deal, but they're not going to make the deal. Okay, I guess I got to take out Rowanus Elias. So they're going to have Rowanus Elias too. Even though he's like 28 with C potential. Can I make this? We make okay, there we go. Okay, so we got Bogarts. We got Bogarts on the team. And now we just got to get our first baseman... And then I'll just work. Then I just gotta work on pitching. I just gotta work on getting the pitchers that I want. I definitely can make it happen too. I think so. The Brewers and Eric Thames. He's only a 79 overall in this, so that's good. I might be able to actually squeeze. The, ooh, I might actually be able to squeeze this trade without having to trade. Okay, let me get rid of David Freeze. Okay, so John Jaso and Jordy Mercer get rid of two of my highest cap guys. And then, I have a, like a, uh, that's not going to get it done. That's, mm, Trevor Williams gets it really close. I don't want to trade Chad Cool or Jamison Tyon here. Even though Chad Cool barely makes it an even trade. Ooh, AJ Shugel almost gets it there. Let me trade AJ Shugel. Here, let me see here. What does Grilly do to this? Grilly doesn't quite make it. I want to get rid of Grilly's contact contract, so let me let me take out Jordy Mercer and let's throw in Grilly. That's not gonna get it done. None of these my relief pitchers are so hard to trade. This is so annoying. Um, trade. Okay, there we go. Drew Hutchinson, AJ Jugal, and John Jaso for Eric Thames. So let's get that trade done. I hold on. I held on to jo to um to Josh Bell in an attempt to trade for Dellen Betances. This is a trade that I was able to get done in the regular game, like the regular rosters. Yeah, I can just trade Josh Bell straight up one for one for Dellen Betances. That's definitely gonna happen. I'm definitely making that trade. One for one Dellen Betances for Josh Bell. Oh, they don't want to do it. Okay, fine. I will give you I will give you a crappy little relief pitcher. Here we go. Um Actually, take the 25-year-old. Okay. Do I got to give you another prospect? There we go. How about Tate Sayanu? How about now? Oh, my gosh, you guys. How about now? I hate that it says we're definitely interested, and then they don't take the trade. How about that? JT Brubaker, John Kuchno, and Josh Bell. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It's going to piss me off. Here, take, take David Freeze, or, or actually take Jordy Mercer. There we go. Okay, I got rid of Jordy Mercer's contract, so that was even better. Okay, so now I got to get rid of David Freeze. Okay, so we got our we got our reliever in Dylan Batances. We got our like clutch ace reliever. We got Robert. We still need to trade Tony Watson to a closer needy team. So the Blue Jays are still that close. I wanted. I think I'm gonna trade for Vladimir Guerrero because then that gives me a 
that gives me a prospect at least, because I'm a lot of prospects. So let's go ahead and trade for Vladimir Guerrero. Oh, they're no longer interested in this. Okay. Were they not interested before? I just thought they were close. Um, Taylor Hearn's not going to get it there. Let's see. How much does... I could kind of hold on to Phil Gosling because he's not, like, super... So, oh, I still have Adam Frazier as kind of a prospect to deal. Um, we got some good shortstop prospects. We got Gift. Uh, who's actually playing pretty well in the majors right now for the Pirates. I'm actually happy um, with how he's playing for my Pirates. Uh, Cole Tucker, they're both in the final years of their deals. Uh, Ryan, uh, gosh. I have to get rid of Gorilli, I think. I don't think he's going to help me get this trade done for Vladimir Guerrero. Cause I, but I kind of wanted to send Gorilli back to the Blue Jays. Like, Chad Cole doesn't even get that trade done. Might not be able... Okay, I'm not getting Vladimir Guerrero. Yohan Moncada. I wonder when the White Sox call up Yohan Moncada in this. Um, let's see. What do I... Oh, I gotta look at closing pitchers. Cody Allen. Okay, the Twins, maybe. All these closers are, like, jumbled around. Okay, so the Nationals need a closer. Actually, this is good. There's actually a couple players on the Nationals that I would want. Okay, so I think we're going to trade with the Nationals. I'll quickly flip. Wait, Davis is of 94. Sungwon O oh, is oh, 89. Where did I? Oh, here we go. The Brewers. Natalia Feliz is a 72. I probably should have tried to trade Tony Watson for Thames. That's all right. Kenley James is a 97. Mowers a 79. Melanson, 89. Britton, 89. Chapman's a 93. All right, I think I'm going to trade with the Nationals, because there's some players on the Nationals that I'll take. I want to trade for... I want Joe Ross, so I think I can actually make this work. So, Grilly, Joe... Tony Watson... I want to trade Cervelli. I got a lot of catchers on as the Pirates. You get a lot of catchers to do, like... Okay, um... Oh, that almost gets us there. What are these shortstop prospects? No. Alright, we're kind of in a bind here. Might not be able to send them Grilly. I just want to get rid of Grilly's contract. That's the only reason I want to trade him. I don't really care about Grilly otherwise. I just want to get rid of that contract. Which one moves it more? I'm going to move the older one with the lower overall. That makes sense. Man, Cabrian Hayes, why couldn't you just get me there? You're so close to getting me there. Um, Jacob Stalling. Oh my gosh, Jacob Stalling gets it so close. I'm going to have to trade Cervelli, I think. We're going to have to move our catcher. We're going to have to move our catcher and all... 10 million! 10 mil... Okay, we're definitely moving Cervelli. Dude, that's a... I can't believe... The, I, can't, I forgot the Pirates paid him... All right, Cervelli's going to the Nationals. The probably platoon. Can I get? Can I get a catcher out of this? I can't get Jose Lobatone. I feel like you should let me have him. He's 32. It's a 70 overall. All right, give me Joe Ross. Really, you're not gonna. Get, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I hate that it says we're definitely interested in making this trade. But it's not what we're looking for. Then why say we're definitely interested in making this deal at the bottom? I don't get it. All right, so Kevin Newman, get out of here. We gotta find. Let's see. Will they take Cole Tucker? No, they're not gonna take Cole Tucker. How about Cabrian Hayes? No, you're not gonna take Cabrian. Uh, how about Phil Gosling? Nope. So I guess you gotta offer trades now that are like a little bit over. How about Jacob Stalling? Take my top catchers. Um, Grilly? You want Grilly? No, no Grilly. Like, I don't even, I wish I had, I wish I had some sort of reliever to trade. I don't have any relievers. Um, like, I know they're not accepting that. Um, I need one that, like, goes, like, way over. Uh, I don't want to trade Chad Cool or Jamison Tyon for Ross, if I can... Like, Brault, 
They don't want Brault. They want Nick Kingman. Or Kingham. Trevor Williams? Why is it so hard to trade for Joe? Like, you need a closer, Nationals. Just give me Joe Ross. I'm running, out, I'm running out of prospects here. I don't have any prospects left to trade, I don't think. Hmm. Like, I wish that they would just... Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I feel like I'm getting cheated. Like, why does it say we're definitely interested if they are not going to accept it? What if I offer Nova? Oh, Nova's contract is way too high for them. Oh, look, they're definitely interested in trading for Jameis and Tyon. I, I guess I'll move Chad Cool just to get... Uh, I want Joe Ross. So I might have to... Like, they're not going to take Brawl. So I guess Chad Cool. I'm not going to use Chad Cool this year. I want to trade... Ah... See, that's the issue. I want to get Ross and Taiwan Walker, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to if I trade Cool. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, they're not even interested in that. Okay, well, Nationals, we'll go trade our closer to someone else. I feel like I don't want to trade to the Brewers again. Fernando Rodney for the D-backs. Actually, let me see here. I want... So, Tony Watson... What's their catcher? Okay, they got some crappy catchers going on there. So let's see here. Tywin Walker. They're definitely interested in making this deal. Because it includes Chad Cool. Um, Alright, let me see here. Shortstop prospect. Shortstop prospects aren't good enough for them. Oh, uh, Phil got the note. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to offer I'm gonna have to offer Chad Cool. That's it? Okay. I'm sick of them saying, that's an interesting offer, but they're not interested. I might not be able to get my guys in Taiwan Walker. Hmm. Okay, like, do these relief pitchers have any value? Like, they're not going to accept that. No, it's like, no one wants to do this trade. Okay. All right, on to the next. Who who else needs a relief pitcher? There's like one more team. The Padres kind of do, but there's not like anybody on the Padres I want. Okay, Blue Jays, let's let's try this again. Give me Vladimir Guerrero, and I will give you Grilly Bag. Okay, no. Like I almost just want to. Will you just give? Okay, they're not gonna give me either. All right, we might have to just live with the roster that I got now. I'm going to back out of this. I might have to just live with this for now. Um, I definitely can get Joe Ross. Okay, I can just go to the Nationals. Hold on. I can get Joe Ross. Right? I can just trade this if I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> James Tyon has so much more value than Joe Ross. Even though Joe Ross is 9 overall higher, 2 years younger. What about... Ch okay, Chad Cool. Francisco Serv... Like, I don't get why this is not a good enough trade for them. Like, this is exactly what they need. They need a closer. It's a swap for starting pitcher. Like, what if I don't include... Okay, hold on. What if I don't include Cervelli? I'll trade Cervelli to someone else. Like, Adam eh, Adam Frazier doesn't move that enough. Oh, there we go. We got it done for Joe Ross. There we go. So now I just got to move Cervelli to someone else. So they got their closer in Tony Watson over Blake Trannon. Even though they should be using Coda Glover. Coda Glover, even there he is. Coda Glover or Sean Kelly should be their closer. Not training. I forget. I don't even know who is their closer. I don't even know who their closer is in real life. Okay, so now, now we've got we've got Ross, we got Strowman, we got Tyon. These overalls will go up once I move some things around. Um, I need to move Cervelli because his contract is ridiculous. That contract is stupid. Um, who else did I want? I think I just need... Wait, I got Ross, I got Strowman. I just need Walker, really. 
Oh, I need Julio Tehran. I want Julio Tehran. I feel bad for Julio Tehran that he's on the stupid... <laughs> the stupid, um... Braves. I feel like Julio Tehran deserves... Bartolo Colon is an, has an A potential. He's, four, he's still 82 overall. That's not bad. Alright. Okay, Tyon's like worth like way too much. Okay, so... Let's trade... Actually, I can swap Tyon for Tehran one for one. I think. Oh, Tyon's worth more than Tehran. Hmm. Nova's like not worth enough. Okay, do they want a prospect? I don't have any prospects to trade. I act like I have like good prospects to trade them. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get a trade done here. Unless I trade Tyon. Yeah, Grilly's not quite worth enough. Alright, let's go Tyon. Is there anybody on this team that I want? Vizcano. Kind of interested in him. As a reliever. 99 velocity. Okay. Interested in Vizcano. Um... I could go a little bit cheaper at catcher with anybody. I kind of want Wrecker. His overall is a little bit lower than I would like, but I kind of want Wrecker. I can almost make a Jamison tie-on for Julio Tehran and Freddie Freeman trade. That's almost possible. Oh, I can get a top prospect. Yes. <laughs> Give me Ozzy Albias. Prospect at second base. Anybody else here that I want? Uh, I don't want Bono. Oh, I can get Bonifacio. His cap is kind of high, though. Is that all their pro? They got any, like, pitching prospects since that? Oh, ooh. Colby Allard. 19 years old. How old is Ozzy? He's 20 years old. Oh, Ozzy's, like, worth a ton. Okay, let me see if I can make this happen. Two top prospects for Tyon. I don't think I got the. I don't think I got the team. I don't think I got the team to make this happen. Uh, I want this so bad. I want the prospects. I can't get it done. I can't get a gun for Colby Allard and Ozzy Albias. I can't get it done. I think I want Albias over. Albias is worth a ton more. Do they have any other prospects? That's the question. They got any other good prospects? I'll take I'll take the second baseman out because he's worth a lot more. But it doesn't actually look like they got any other prospects. I mean, they got this guy Ronaldo or Ronald Acuna. B potential. Um. They got the they got Colby Allard, and I think that's it. Okay, so do we want the pitching prospect or do we want the second base prospect? I think I want the second base prospect. I got the pitching kind of. I still got Brault, I still got Williams, I still got Kingham. If I trade Kingham, I still can't get there. Brault? Ivan Nova? Well, Ivan Nova makes this a deal. <laughs> Ivan Nova makes this a deal and it opens up so much money. I would get a prospect in Allard, I'd get a prospect in Albias, I would lose my top pitcher in Nova, probably, but I don't really like the deal they gave Nova anyway. Um, I would probably lock myself out of Taiwan Walker. Let me go real quick, let me check out, I, I told you guys this would be like a, a def hold on, let me back out of this completely, just clear the trade. I told you this would end up being like trades and just an intro. Uh, and that's exactly what's going to be. We're at like 30 minutes of trades already. So let me see here. If I can get a Taiwan Walker deal done with like these, like a Steven. Which one does more? Okay, that th that brings it to like the U. That's okay. So Kingham, Kingham and Williams. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, Grilly's worth like nothing to the Diamondbacks. I can't trade Cervelli. You're not worth a whole lot. You're not. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done. 
What if I trade you two of these B pitching prospects? No, they like don't do anything. Um, Nova. Okay, I might just have to avoid. I might just have to forego Taiwan Walker. Like I really like Taiwan Walker. He's one of my favorite pitchers, but I might have to forego getting him because this trade with the Braves is like really good. It's a huge pitching. It's two huge prospects. We'll see if they'll even accept it. Because that was in, like, that hairy gray area where I'm like, oh, maybe they don't accept it. No, see, they're not even going to accept it. Um, okay, so take Nova out. What if I include, like, uh, these guys don't have enough value. I'm going to have, yeah, I'm going to have to take someone out. I'm going to have to take probably Ozzy Albias out. I'll probably take Albias out because he's young, he's older. Hmm. But he's a way higher overall. He's eight overall higher. He'll be all alert. He's got really good stamina. All right, what does Albius look like stat-wise? Okay, so he's a really good defensive catcher. He's got a little bit of speed. Um. Okay, I'll take Albius. You know, let me see if I can. I can kind of work him over for like a not Ryan Howard. We're not taking Ryan Howard. Like this guy, Rio Ruiz. Yeah, like I can take like a Rio Ruiz. I think I'll, hold on, Albias is like the higher, let me see if I can do this. Albias is worth more. Now can I take Rio Ruiz? No. Is there anybody else that I'd want? Ronaldo, or Ronald Alcuna. I don't know why I keep calling him Ronaldo. Ronald Alcuna. Okay, I need to get a trade done here, so let's go ahead and take Kobe Albert Allard, and I think this will just guarantee it gets done. They can keep their second base prospect because Brandon Phillips is getting old. I'll let him hold on that, and I'll take Rio Ruiz, and this trade should definitely get done. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we added Julio Tehran. We got a prospect in Kobe Allard. We got a top 50 prospect, so I'm happy about that. He's actually way up on our list now, um, and I don't have a rotation. I got four pitchers. So that's an issue. So I'm going to be pitching like Steven Brault or someone at this point. Uh, let me go check free agency. Let's check free agency, see if we got any. Okay, so we got Sh Shohei Atani. We got Ryan Vogelsong. I could bring Vogels Vogelsong back, but I think Shohei Atani here, he's a 22-year-old from Japan. What is it? He's got B potential. I'm just going to sign this guy anyway. Oh my gosh, he's looking for like the cheapest deal ever. Yeah, definitely bringing him in. <laughs> definitely going to bring that guy in. Atani is an 80 overall. Definitely, that's a that's a crazy good deal. Are there any other like good deals here? Walden. Tetsudo Yamada. Juan Uribe is avail available. Angel Pagan. I wish I could set, like, Angel Pagan to not get signed until next year. Because he's not... He's sitting out this year. I kind of wish I could do that, but... Um... Is there any catchers worth noting? AJ Prezinski. But he's 39 years old. Yeah, there are no catchers. So we're just going to bat our catcher ninth, probably. Okay. So, now we've got at least a rotation here. Shoei Atani can actually pitch for us, at least. Doesn't have, like, I can't, like, see if he's happy or not. Um, Kobe Allard will probably make the major roster. Okay, so we got Grilly to move. I don't really think I gotta move David Freeze. His contract's not that bad. So I think we can actually hold on to David Freeze as, like, a... As, like, um, uh, a pinch hitter. Okay, so... Let's see if we can go ahead... Let me see if I can get Ichiro, because I actually think I can play Ichiro more than the Marlins can play him. Um, so let's see if I can get him. Grilly, Grilly almost gets this trade done. Okay. So I can almost already have him. Let's see, like a 19-year... Ooh, that gets us close. I don't want to trade, like, a top prospect. For, like, okay, David Freeze doesn't work much. I don't really want to trade Cole Tucker. Like, he's a good prospect. I don't really want to do that. Um... Or Adam, I don't really want to trade Adam Frazier for Ichiro. I just kind of wanted Ichiro for fun on the team. But I don't really feel like trading a bunch for him. Like, I feel like I, I guess I can trade Jacob Stallings. Oh, Jacob Stallings gets us there. 
So I feel like I can trade Jacob Stallings for Ichiro. I think I feel like this is fine. If he'll, if he'll, okay, there we go. So we got Ichiro. I'll probably move Ichiro out of right field to like left field or so. Actually, yeah, I'll probably just move him to center field or. Yeah, he gets secondary positions or anywhere in the outfield. So we'll go ahead and move him to the outfield somewhere. Um, is there any other trades that I'd like to get done? I feel like I could use better, a couple better relievers, but I think Dylan Batances is going to be mad because I think he wants to be the closer, but I want Ozuna to be the closer. Yeah, he wants to be the closer here. But I think we should be fine. Now, I'm going to go do, like, a terrible thing that... Um, that's going to kill the money a little bit, but that's why I wanted to clear it up. We're going to go ahead and fire some coaches and get new ones because I want to have a top-tier staff to make people happy. So we got to get rid of all these guys that aren't A's. Uh, farm director's not an A either. It's kind of bad. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all of our coaches to get A's. Uh, power, batting clutch, content. Okay, I think I want that one. Uh Bad and clutch power. No, I'd rather have the two for contact. I want the ones that don't subtract anything. I just want the boost. So let's go ahead and get Earnhardt here. It's a little bit low ball him. There we go. He took it. All right. So there's one coach down. Now to our pitching coach. So velocity up, pitching clutch up, break up, Ks per nine. Um... If I remember correctly, there aren't a whole lot of... Yeah, there's not any pitchers. There, he's like the only pitching coach that doesn't subtract. So let's make that offer. Let's try a... Okay, the low ball did work a little bit on him. I want to low ball him a little bit because I need money. Let's see here. Okay, so... Speed and fielding. Stealing and fielding. Arm accuracy. I thought there was one... I thought there was like a speed stealing one. Or there was one that at least boosted speed. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was a pitching coach that boosted my speed. Without losing, I guess is what I'm saying. There's ones that boost speed, but you didn't lose. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one. Arm accuracy, speed, arm strength, and fielding. So let's go ahead and sign him. Let's see here. He's not interested in that contract. What that one? There we go. Okay. One more co or two more coaching contracts to get taken care of here. Um, we got stealing there. Do we got a speed one here? Stealing, durability, reaction, and fielding. I think that's probably the one I'll go with. Fielding, blocking, reaction, durability, stealing, fielding. Um, arm accuracy, stealing, blocking. That's just a bunch of ones. I want to lose speed. Okay, so who are we hiring? I think I'm going to go with this guy. Fielding, stealing, durability, and reaction. So Andrew Hahn. Go ahead and let's offer him this. Not interested in that contract. How about 2-7? There we go. Okay, one more coach, the farm director. Oh, there's oh, there's an A. I might have to just take this guy. It would reduce our hits per nine, but I don't... Oh, there's another A. Yeah, there's like no A's here. There's two A's, so I'm going to have to take one. The only option. So it was this guy that I wanted. He ups the speed. I don't really bunt, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and make that offer. Let's go ahead and offer him 2.3. Okay, 2.4. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a top tier staff, so that should make people happy. All A's, top tier staff. Okay, so now, now we can start looking at our roster a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, see, overall is already starting to go up, I think. Um, Nova, Nova actually stuck around as a starting pitcher. Um, I actually wanted to get rid of him, but he might actually stay in the rotation if I'm unable to trade him. The trade was for Taiwan Walker. That's what we wanted, right? Yeah, I wanted Taiwan Walker from the Diamondbacks. Taiwan Walker 
Tywin Walker for Ivan Nova is not even close. They don't even really have, like, any interest in it. That's pretty far gap to try to fill. Um, we're rolling with some crappy catchers. Um, Ryo Ruiz. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get Taiwan Walker. As much as I want to get Taiwan Walker, I don't... Taiwan Walker's in his final deal of his contract, so I should actually be able to... I should actually be able to trade for Taiwan... Or sign Taiwan Walker in the offseason. So we'll go with... I don't know if I want to roll with... I kind of want to trade... What kind of offers do I get for Nova? If I... What kind of offers do we get out here? What are people offering for Ivan Nova? That's some crap. Okay, Orioles, I don't want any of your garbage. I don't want Mitch Moore. Go Chris Young, but he's old. I wish Chris Young was younger and I'd make that trade. Holiday. You're always at their trade. Okay, no. Holby Rast, no. Dalton Pompey, that's actually an interesting trade, but... I'm trying to win now, so I don't want to, like, trade too much for a prospect. Yun, Yu Chang Chang. Yu Chang Chang. Oh, I thought that's Zach Granite. I thought it said Zach Granke. I was like, okay. We can make that trade happen. Um, Ryan Madsen, Jarrell Cotton. Hmm. There's a Rodas Viscano. Okay, so we could we could move. Oh, Dickie and Vizcano are more the cost more than Nova. How much are they paying? They're paying Dickie. This is actually an even swap, more than it is we lose. But hold on, Braves. Where's your starting pitching so I can get rid of? How much? Oh my gosh! Second, almost. We're definitely interested in trading Bartolo for Nova. I I bet you are. Okay, so we're at the Braves. We are at 42 minutes of trading. Braves, Marlins, Kyle Bearclaw, and Jose Urania. That's actually interesting. I'm actually interested in that. Bearclaw and Urania. Brad Ziegler. Ooh, this is actually interesting because Jose Urania's young. Doesn't have the craziest potential, but he's got a... He's, 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 he pitched a really good game yesterday. He pitched a one-hitter against the Mets. I think he went six, hit, gave up one hit, and um, I think it was to it was to Rene Rivera, I think, which is really weird. They're offering me their closer, and Oliver Perez, a relief pitcher. Sean Gilmartin, Fernando Salas. Ivan Nova has some, like, shitty value. It kind of pisses me off. Fernando Rodriguez, Tommy LaStella. Brett, oh, Brett Anderson and John Jay. Drew Storen, Stuart Turner. Kind of need a catcher, but Stu, Stu, Stuart Turner is not going to get it done for me. Ooh, I could get E.J. Shugel back. Ivan DeJesus Jr. Kevin Segrist. There's, like, an... Chris Ewings. Andrew Chafin, Randall Delgado, Daniel Descalso, ooh, Valkia, Val that's, not, that's not a bad trade, Castellani, hmm, that, if they would trade me Senzatella, I actually might trade, what is their view on Senzatella? It's close, Often is a top 50 prospect. Urban Marquez is only 22. I thought Urban Marquez was a lot older. The Rockies have some pitchers. Like, if I did a Rockies one, I'd actually be happy with their pitching. I'd probably just move, like, all of these. I'd probably move some of the top guys and just be pitching Sensatella and Urban Marquez and Jeff Hoffman. Like, I would probably just be in Kyle Freeland. I'd probably just pitch these young guys with the potential over, like, Tyler Anderson, who's a little bit older. Uh, let me get Pat Valkia back out, and then we can go. Because they're not gonna, they're not gonna do that trade. It's way too close. So let's get back to the Rockies. 
probably end up going through looking at all of these offers just to decide, ooh, Alex Wood. I, don't know, I wouldn't really call Alex Wood a relief pitcher. He does, I guess he is like a relief starter. It's like a relief starter, because he did make a start. He's made two or three starts, I think. Oh, Austin Hedges. It's actually not a bad offer. Christian Friedrich. That's interesting. Kyle Crick. Okay, so we're back. So the one offer was with the Marlins. That's the one I really liked. It's gone now. Let me see if I can get it back. So, relief pitcher and starting pitcher. Where is Jose Urania and Kyle Bearclaw? So they're interested, sort of. I will pitch Jose Urania. I got no problem with that. I can just make it start short. It gives me another arm in the pen, kind of. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. It gives me another good arm in the pen. Which is the one I need to get rid of? Oh, I need to get rid of Daniel Hudson. His cap is huge. Um, I do we want to try? Do we want to take on Jose Urania? I'm really interested in taking on Jose Urania. He's not going to get the play here. They've got way too many pitchers above him. He expects to just be depth. So if he's a starter, he's going to be like super pumped. I'm going to do it. If they'll take it, I'll do it. Okay, there we go. So Ivan Nova goes to the Marlins. The Marlins has got a nice pitching staff going here now. And now I just need to get rid of Daniel Hudson because his cap is stupid. I don't know. Uh, him and Juan Nicasio. I'll keep one. Oh my gosh, Antio, Antonio Bestardo is expensive too. But I'm not going to be using Daniel Hudson. That's the issue. That's why I want to move him. I don't think there's anybody else on this roster that's like stupid expensive other than Bogarts, which I want. Oh, Josh Harrison's kind of expensive, but he's not like dumb expensive. David Freeze is kind of dumb expensive at 1.8 for David Freeze. But I'm going to keep him as a pin. I want to keep him as a pinch hitter. Um. How much are Polanco? Starling Marte is kind of expensive. Mookie's not as expensive as he... McCutcheon is expensive. Okay, so let's just try to move Daniel Hudson, and then we'll go. We'll move on. We'll, we'll stop making trades. We'll set the lineup. We'll get ready for opening day. I really like a prospect. Hold on. I want a prospect for him. I don't want... I don't want Major League ready, I don't think. Miguel Castro. He sucks, though. I'm looking for some B potential. Anybody B potential? Oops. There was that one guy that was B potential. Someone offer me someone with B potential. Oh, there we go. Jose Le Leclerc. Leclerc. Uh, Jeremy Profar. You know, you could offer me Jer. Okay, so the Rangers have the lead now with this trade with it includes Leclerc. Ooh. Drew Anderson, 23-year-old B potential from the Phillies. These are all like the same trade. It's like a C, and then it's like two Cs, and then it's three Cs. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, that's, okay, we're trading the Texas Rangers. Or the Rangers, there we go. Make this trade. All right, so we move that contract. We've got a nice little cash flow going on now. We're not, like, completely dead in the water. Cole Hamels is making $11 million a year. What do I want for these guys? Like, what if I offer Joe Ross? What kind of, hold on, real quick. I picked this guy up. I want to know what kind of... Does anybody offer me something crazy for this guy that they could have just signed in free agency? No trades were found. Okay, that that that's good. They, there's no trades. Let me look at it one more time. Yeah, no trades. That's good. Okay, so I can't trade Shoei Itani. Really. Actually, can I trade Shoei Itani for, for my Taiwan Walker? Oh my gosh. It's so close. Oh, they're just not interested in Joey Adani. 
Huh, that's weird. They're just not interested in him. It's just like no one not interested in him. Yeah, I don't even think, yeah, because he was free agent. I don't think like any. Okay, so let's go ahead and set our, we can look at all the transactions, I guess, completed. Um, pirates. So there are all the trades we just did, including signing Shoyatani. Um, let's go to roster. I need to move some guys, skip all these notifications. I need to move Mookie Betts to second base. So second base and secondary position of outfield. And then Josh Harrison needs to be moved from second base to third base. Okay, I think we're all good there. Okay, so now we got to set our rotation and all of that different stuff. Let me do it this way. Over here, auto fix the rotation. And go into here. So Kyle Bearclaw is starting. Give me Jose Urania into the starting lineup. Why is, put Jose Urania out here. There we go. Joe Ross. Now why is Roberto Ozuna out here? Who am I missing? Stroman, Tehran, Ross. Did I not? Oh, I, where is... Oh, Shoei Itani not on the major roster. Add him to the 40 man and move him to the majors. There we go. Show we Atani into the majors. My top prospect, Colby Allard. Trevor, okay. Um, is there anybody else? Okay, the, usually when I trade for Roberto Azuna, it puts him in the minors, and I'm like, why? Stop. Barbado. Are there any of these guys that need to come up to the majors? I'll mess with these more. I just want to make sure all the guys that are... Okay, I need another catcher in the majors. So it's going to be Elias Diaz. Unless... Is there a... Is there a free agent catcher that's worth a, anything? Okay. Nav Dian, Dianer Navarro. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave this as is. Um, I think people will have to cut maybe before the off before the season completely starts. Maybe. Actually, I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, but I feel like I should wait for that. Um, so first baseman. I think we're good at first. We got a couple of guys at second. Uh, we got a couple of guys at third. So that's good. We are going to bring up Gift. So you're going to add him to the 40-man roster. And then move him to the majors. And then let's go ahead and promote... Cole Tucker to Triple A, and promote. I can't promote. Oh yeah, I can. Let's promote Adrian Valerio to Double. Oops, to Double A. Left fielders. We're, we'll we'll move some guys around here. So we got Kutch. Okay, so Frazier's got all those secondary positions. Let's move Ichiro to left field. Move him to left field. That'll kind of free that up a little bit in the outfield. We got two left fielders, got one center fielder, and two right fielders. So we're good there. Um, I think we're all set to go. Unless, do I need to call up any relief pitchers? Am I kind of sure? Why is he in triple A? Jose Leclerc. I think we're good. I think this is what we're going to roll with. I don't have any... I have six relief pitchers. That's it? That's kind of... That's really shallow. Is there any relief pitchers on the free agent market? Walden, Burnett, Kevin Jepsen, Jonathan Papelbon. So, no, there's not really any guys on the free... Okay. Okay. I, th I think that's... I think that's exactly kind of what I want here. Um, Shoei Itani, get in here. Okay, so Tehran, Ross, Strom. Actually, I want Stroman, Tehran, Ross. There we go, okay. Shoei Itani, Urania. So Urania is going up as we go here. He's got compatriots. He's relatively happy with his contract. He's healthy. Uh, we need, he hasn't played yet, so we can't get that in, but he's up to a 69, so that's good. Okay, so closing pitcher, Roberto Azuna. 
setup man, Bell and Patances. Um, long relievers. Okay, so Wade LeBlanc, definitely. Yes, definitely. I think Juan Nicasio, maybe. Yeah, long reliever, Nicasio. Unless there's someone else with better long relieving than him. No. Okay, so Kyle Baraclaw, setup guy. We'll use them all as setups there. And then, man, I need more relief pitchers. I need to, like, call up a reliever. Because... Okay, so we'll just have two long relievers in Williams and LeBlanc. That kind of works out well because they're both, um, they got good stamina. One's a lefty and one's a righty. Uh, then we got middle relief. We've got Rivero, Bastardo, and Nicasio. Uh, two lefties and a righty. And then we've got Dellen Batances, Kyle Baraclaw, and Roberto. Is, you know what, actually? I want to put Baraclaw here so I can have kind of, you know, like how the uh, Yankees had with Batances, Miller, and Chapman. I can kind of have that with, I can go Baraclaw, then Batances, then Ozuna. Yeah, I think that's a better thing. Um, so I'm going to move, who's got like the best stuff out of all these guys? It's for 9Ks for 9. I need, I need like a setup guy for when Batances can't go. Um, I think I'm going to go with Felipe Rivero. It gives me a lefty out there in the pen as well. It's either Rivero or Bastardo. I think Bastardo, I'm going to go with Bastardo. He's got better, like, singular stuff. Felipe's got better stuff overall, but... Okay, so there's the... That's going to be the setup in the starting rotation. So I'm happy with that. I might call up a reliever or a start. Let me call up someone. I need to call someone up to get a little bit extra. Go. I might call up Coley, Colby Allard. Eh, I don't want to call him up. Nick Kingham. I call him up. can use him as a long reliever. I could just call up, like, a complete gas can. And just in case a game goes, like, completely to shit, I got someone to call up. Um, I got someone to put in the game. I kind of, I think I'm going to call up Barbado. I don't know, he doesn't need to be in single A. He can be in, okay, yeah, I'm going to call him up to the majors. Got to add him to the roster. And then let's call him up to the majors. Um, and I need one more long reliever. Uh, I think it's going to be Nick Kingham. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be Nick Kingham. Let's add him to the 40-man and bring him up. Okay, so that should fill out my bullpen. That should be a nice fill out to the bullpen. Um, Nick Kingham, yeah, Nick Kingham can be a long reliever. So we got some long relievers, and then Barbado can be a middle reliever. There we go. That's good. It's good. I'm happy with my bullpen. I'm happy with my starting rotation. Now it's time for the lineup. So, we don't have many guys on the bench. Um, against right-handing, I want Ichiro DHing. Okay, so catcher, catcher goes there, then it's Ichiro. Um, we want Marte, Bogarts, Betts. Thames, McCutcheon, Polanco, Harrison, Ichiro, Stewart. Okay. And then pitcher, we want the pitcher batting ahead of Stewart. Uh, then it's Harrison. Oh, I got to get the positions right here. So first baseman is not Mookie Betts. Let's do it this way. Okay. Marte, that's right, that's right. Second base. Thames plays first base. McCutcheon right field, Polanco left, Ichiro, DH. There we go. Okay. I just got to make sure these get set up correctly. Okay, so, right, correct, correct, Mookie Betts is playing second, McCutcheon, that's right, why, who is in here, David Freeze is in here instead of Thames, get out of here. Okay, so Thames is playing first base, McCutcheon right, okay, all of that's right, okay, there we go. Okay, versus left-handed pitching with a DH, I, I definitely, yeah, we're going to play David Freeze here, this is the correct play to play David Freeze here. Okay, so Marte, Bogarts. Switch that to McCutcheon. I think versus lefties, I'm going to bat McCutcheon. I'm going to bat McCutcheon fourth and I'm going to move Thames to fifth. Blanco, Harrison. Okay. Thames and Harrison need to flip. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, because if that's four righties leading off against a lefty, I kind of like that. Then it goes back to two. It gets our two lefties in there and then we go back to our righties. So I like that. Okay, so, need to get Thames in here over Freeze. 
Okay, so Marte, Bogarts, Betts, McCutcheon, Thames, Polanco, Harrison, Stewart, or Strowman, Stewart. Okay, there we go. Center field, shortstop, first base. This needs to be second. Right field, correct. First, that should just be a swap there. Okay, so there is the row, the lineups all set up. Um, pretty much the only changes is that Ichiro is the DH against righties. Freeze is the DH against lefties. Freeze is overall his way down because he's platooning in DH, I think. Or he's pretty much yeah, he's pretty much bench, so he's upset about that. His contract, he's happy. He's upset. He wants to be close to home. I might move Freeze because he's not really ha he's not gonna really be happy on this team. He wants to be close to Texas, so that would mean I need to trade him to the Astros or the Rangers. Um, yeah, David Freeze kind of threw a wrench into everything here. All right, let's see if we can get him. Let's see if we can make David Freeze happy. Get him somewhere where he can be happy. Oops, David Freeze. I'm gonna need. I need someone. Okay, I'm not getting Joey Gallo. Oh my gosh, Joey Gallo's value. Look at that. Joey Gallo's value is crazy. Jared Hoyne. Delano, did Sh Shields is only 24. Nomar Mazzara. Man, the Rangers are going to be good for a while. I forgot that these players are so young. That outfield, like. They got Chu Gomez and Rua right now, but like a 24-year-old Profar, a 24-year-old DeShields, a 21-year-old Mazzara. Like, they're going to be crazy good. Uh, and then they got 23-year-old Gallo. They got like such good prospects. They don't have like pitching prospects. Chichi Gonzalez is like their best pitching prospects. Or Ariel Girado. Oh no, they've got Yoander Mendez, who's 25 years or 22 years old and has a potential. Um, I don't think I'm getting anything out of either of these teams. Like, I don't even think they have like a shitty player that I can just take. Like Juan Sateno, they think they should be getting more value. Tyler White, they think we should be getting more value than you're offering. I need, like, someone to replace him. Like, I, I, I need, like, a DH that can... Okay, we're just keeping David Freeze. He's just going to have to deal with being unhappy. Okay. Bronson Arroyo. Lead leaders are Indians and... Or not Indians. They're Reds and Phillies. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and go to the calendar. We're going to start simulating towards the regular season. So let's go ahead and sim through this date. All right, we're 10 and 7 in the... In the Spring training. Let's see if anybody dropped any free agents of interest. I think I might pick up Coco Crisp. I think I'm going to pick up Coco Crisp. He's cheap. He's like 2 mil. Let's see if I can offer him 1.8. He's going to be a bend. He's going to be depth. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll give you... Okay, so there we go. We picked him up. I kind of wanted to sign Jimmy Rollins, but he's like not happy with being depth, and he's kind of expensive, so I don't really want to pick him up. And then Alexi Ramirez just wants, like, a crazy contract. Like, $4.4 million for you to sit on the bench is, like, stupid. Like, I can't, I don't want to do that. Um, Justin Morneau. Is there any, like, actual prospects out here? Like, the one I found with Shabatani? Not really. But I think the addition of Coco Crisp is going to work out fine. So yeah, he'll just be... He went up in overall from 72 to a 74. He's happy with the coaching, and that's about it. He's okay with this contract. He's happy. I guess he's happy. He's ecstatic about the coaching. I uh, wants to be on a contender. We're tenant. But this is like... I don't know why... How we're doing in spring training affects how if a player is happy. So let's just sim through... And skin through for spring training. All right, we went 20 and 11. Not bad. We went 20 and 11. Um, let's see. Look at all that money. We're making some good money. I'm happy about that. We got no cash issues. We should be able to to sign free agents after this year uh, to maybe try to go for a repeat if I'm able to get my shit together and win this year. Um, okay, that's scouts. Okay. Is there any? Did anybody drop anybody? 
Okay, no one got dropped. Doug Fisker might actually be a good pitcher to bring in as, like, depth. Jake Peavy. Fisker and Peavy, both kind of guys that have been in the majors. I feel like I could bring them in and, and have, a, have some depth, at least in case one of my pitchers gets hurt. Um, so I think that we're going to advance to the regular season here, and I think that's going to do it. I think we're all set to go. Why is Shoatani starting the year off? No, it dicked with my rotation again. I want Strowman. I don't care what overall. Shoatani's an 87. I don't really care what overall he is. I just, I just want to have this be the order. Joe Ross, Shoatani. There we go. I want it in this order. Can you please? Oh, God, it messed with my stupid... It messed with, like, everything. Where are my pitchers? Did it move people back down? Why is Trevor Williams in AAA? Oh, I can only have 25 people on my active roster. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Um. Oh, shit. Did it? Okay, it left Coco Chris, but... Okay, it sent Adam Frazier down. That's kind of annoying. Um... I think I got too many, like, positional players up. But, I kind of like... Okay, we're, we're good. You know what? We're good. We're good. We're good. Let me stop messing with that. So, Wade LeBlanc. It's going to have to be Wade LeBlanc and Juan, Juan Nicasio as my long relievers. Um, Bastardo. We decided on Bastardo there. Okay, so we got two long relievers. We got two middle relievers. We got two setup guys. And we got our closer. That is kind of a weak bullpen. I should probably get rid of, because, like, with the line... Oh, my God, it messed with all my lineups, because I had to send people down. Okay, so we got to redo these again. Bogarts, Mc, not McCutcheon, Thames, McCutcheon, Polanco, DH, Ichiro, Harrison. Okay, so does that have everybody at the right positions? It does. Okay, so Marte, Betts, Thames, McCutcheon, Polanco, Harrison, Stewart... Strowman in front of Stewart. Okay, so left-handed pitching, we got we got all that. Thames. Who is not in here? Polanco is not. Ichiro is in here over Polanco. Uh, and then the DH is going to be Freeze. Polanco, McCutcheon, Thames, Polanco. Okay, there we go. I was forgetting. Got to make sure they're all playing the right positions. Good. McCutcheon, Harrison, Oh, I want to play... Why would I play Ichiro over Polanco? Okay, so there we go. We're all back set up there. We should be all good. Do we have anybody... To, oh, we got... Gift and Gopi is just pissed. Gift. What do you expect? Lindbaum? I don't really care if you're upset. Trevor Williams is upset because he's in the minors. He thought he'd be for death. Okay, well, Gift and Trevor Williams may get called up here relatively soon. Um, especially, I, I might move, I might just move David Freeze uh, for cheap. I might just move him for cheap so I can call up, um, I can call up uh, Trevor Williams to be in the pen. Because I was kind of expecting him to be in the pen. I was kind of looking for him to be in the pen, I guess. Uh, so, for right now, that'll work. I think, I, I think it wants me to sign a closing pitcher to pitch in, like, triple A. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's sign. Let's go look at... Oh, there are no free agent. Okay, so I can't even, like, trade... I can't even, like, sign a free agent. Okay, so that is going to do it for the first episode. It's an hour long, getting us set up, getting the trades down. Uh, we will be taking on the Boston Red Sox and Chris Sale in the opening game of the year. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about how I'm going to be doing the games, uh, but we'll definitely be playing that full game. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!